Wait, I see something. What is it? A light. But wait, there's another. Luke. Luke. What the fuck? People out with guns? Oh, come on, go down, Clem. Listen, everyone, just stay calm. Who are you? Are you trying to rob us? Excuse me, honey, but do I look like a fucking thief? Yes. Everyone calm down. Hey, man, you calm the fuck down. Sarah, get behind just me. Just tell us who you are. We ain't here to rob nobody. Put the gun down, fuck man. Fuck that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Please, just do what he says. What? Kenny. Wait, you know this guy? Clementine? I'll take that as a yes. These people with you? We can talk inside. He looks Great. a bit older, I but... Started dinner. Are you sure you don't mind? It's gonna storm soon. Please, come in. He's just all Kenny. With a beard. That's a whole Christmas spirit in here. Kenny and Sarita have been staying with us for several weeks. Used to be a ski lodge, obviously, so we have plenty of food. And uh, believe it or not, we still get some power from that wind turbine out front. We tend to keep most of the lights off at night to avoid drawing attention. But after we found this stuff in storage, we couldn't resist making an exception. <laughs> What's funny? Oh, nothing, Walt. Walter here's one smart some bitch. Makes a mean can of beans, too. Well, why don't you two catch up while I get some dinner started? Please, make yourselves at home. You can leave your things over there. The hell we will. Yeah, I'm holding on to my rifle. Thanks. You're our guests here. There's no need to worry. Tell him to put his gun down, then. Kenny? Will you vouch for these people, Clem? Yeah. If you tell me they're good, then I'm good. Us. You were the one waving a gun around, man. They're cool. Dad, look. A Christmas tree. Well, no, Sarah. Isn't it great? We found it all in storage. It's amazing. Okay, put the fucking guns down. Good. If you'll all follow me, I'll show you where you can see. Kenny, come on, start talking. What the fuck happened? Still wearing this dirty old thing, huh? You know, I half expected to see Lee walk up next to you. You guys were like two peas in a pod. Oh, shit, I didn't mean to... It's just hard not to think about it, you know? He saved me. I knew it. I knew he would. That guy had a fire in him, sure as shit. He was a hell of a guy. When my 
my son. He took care of him. I'll never forget that. So, where'd you end up? I was with Krista and Omid. Omid, well... Krista and I were together for a while. These guys caught us. She's gone. Sounds like it ain't been easy for you. I'm sorry, darling. I wish I could have found you sooner. But everything's gonna be fine now. Krista told me you were dead. I am. This is all a dream. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Sorry, bad joke. Krista got in a hell of a mess. I gave her a hand and then it got messier. Her Krista was a knucklehead. Not too good for old Kenny. Long story short, I got lucky. Real lucky. I spent a long time alone after that. And then I met Sarila. Thank God. Gosh, it's great to have you back. You two catching up? Clem, this is my girl, Sarita. Ain't she beautiful? Nice to meet you, Clementine. Hey, Walt, where's Matthew? He's still out there rooting around? Of course he is. Well, I'll start dinner. Carlos, right? Mind if I steal your daughter for a secret mission? Stay in sight, sweetie. <laughs> Can we do anything to help? Could use a hand outside. We got a lot of supplies to bring in before that storm hits. Sure. Clem, why don't you help Walt with dinner? What? You told me to do the hard work? Nah. Hey, Clementine. Settling in well enough? Yeah, thanks. Excellent. Want to help me prepare a little dinner? So how do you know Kenny? He and Sarita had been a huge help. Matthew and I barely knew what to do around here the first week. We're old friends. I met him after it happened. When he was with Lee? Yeah, he only told us a little. Connecting with people is so important. I don't know what I'd do without Matthew. Gosh, you remind me of my students. I can't imagine what it's like growing up in the middle of all this. Everyone underestimates me. I expect you've used that to your advantage. Sometimes. Smart girl. Mmm. Almost done. Would you do me the honor of tasting the first course, madam? Looks... Like beans. Wait, it looks like mush. No, it doesn't. Mm -mm -mm. As an artist, there's nothing I like less than a friendly critic. Okay, look huh. shit, but hopefully. Striking resemblance. It is. Anyway, I'll take it from here. What the fuck food are you making, bro? I really don't want to put fucking music down. No music, please. No Christmas shit. Clem, we could use some help. Here, Sarah, you take this and string them up over there. You knew Kenny before. It must be incredible to see him again. When I met him, well, he's so different now. So, how'd you meet Kenny? I found him holed up in an old restaurant, if you can believe it. Hold up? You should have seen his beard then. Perfect. <laughs> now we just need the topper. We always had an angel on top of our tree. My family didn't celebrate Christmas, but I still love the decorations. A topper? Where in the world do I found that? Why is not this? Nah, you don't put what a fucking goose.
Maybe at the top. Can I get on top of the stairs? Come on, Glim, faster. Yeah, I can. Easy. How could they follow us this far? We can be sure. It's been a week, man. We gotta be out of the woods. We can be sure. They might be tracking us. Tracking? What do you think they are? Ninjas? Clem, Luke said you saw some people in the valley. People? Way down there. How? She's got binoculars, genius. I saw lights. Which way did they go? Back into the woods. We cannot take any chances. We leave at dawn. But we're safe here for tonight, right? Clementine, you talked to that man Walter, right? What did he say? You didn't tell him anything about us, did you? We have to be careful. He mentioned someone else. Someone else? Who? His friend. His name is Matthew. Look, I don't care what that man said. We're staying here tonight. Just talk to the rest of them. They trust you. See what you can find out. I'm gonna go find Luke. Honey, I I'm not gonna so spy good. for you, Beck, idiot. Wrong? I'd rather go Just with Kenny. Fuck truth. off. You got it. I'll be right back. Uh, yeah, I don't have anything to say to the lady. Uh, well, sure. Star will look better, but the girl was saying something about an angel, so if you put an angel, we should be fine. She looks so cool. Beautiful. Uh, I used to love this time of year. Who puts angels on top of the tree? I know about the star, like a real home. but not angels. Matthew and Walter are amazing people. I mean, I'm not a Christmas Honestly, decoration person anyway. Be this kind, but they can't help it. Wait until you meet Matthew. He's a real character. The first time he met me, he called me Rita. Where is Matthew? Oh, he likes to go on long walks. He and Walter used to vacation here. He should be back soon. Clem, I wanted to ask you, does Kenny seem different to you? I didn't know him before, and, well, I'm curious. He has good days and bad days, like everyone else. He seems like the same old Kenny to me. Oh, well, seems happy. that's good. Well, you three have been busy. Kenny, isn't it great? I got it, huh? I think I can manage, Ken. I said I got it. <laughs> okay, Always he's a bit more the protective. But I'll tell you, when I met him, he couldn't lift a fly. Why don't you go see if your friends are ready for dinner, Clementine? Uh, I need to look for the idiots again. But well, how am I supposed to know where they are? It's a huge house. That's blocked. It's blocked. Go back. There you go. Hey, where the fuck are my friends? I guess I cannot, cannot go there. I mean, there's the lady out upstairs, but that's the one that I really don't give a fuck about. I see. So I have to go speak with the bitch. Okay. I'll go. Not happy about this one, game. Bitch. Food is ready, bitch. Are you okay? I don't care. Just don't answer me. Busy. Yeah. It's okay. I don't get involved, Clem. Myself. How am I supposed to raise a child? I mean, how can anyone now? Everything's well, so fucked up. It's that's how you get for uh, wanting a baby. I know it's gonna be hard. But at the same time, I already feel a little less lonely. 
because I know that no matter what happens, I'll get to meet someone new. She's kicking. You want to listen? No. That food smells good, huh? Gross. Gross. <laughs> I guess it is, isn't it? No, I'm talking about you. If he finds out it's not his, I'll kill him. I don't know what to do. I can't believe I'm asking a little girl for advice. He won't kill you. There's the guy's man. nice. Right He's an idiot, I'm but... fine, you big dope. Just need to get some food in me. Thanks for staying with her, Clint. Well, everyone, dinner is served. Come on, let's eat. Okay, man? Yeah, I just... I wish I hadn't pulled that trigger. Just try to forget about it. Right here, Clem. Mm. It's a very hard choice. I don't know how I'll ever be able to choose. Oh, no. Go, Clem? So, Clem, we were just talking. What's the deal with the kid? And what's his name? Luke? He in charge? You trust him? Kenny, please. Sarita, we don't know these folks. They seem nice. I like him. He's a good guy. Would you trust him with your life? <laughs> Kenny. I think so. <laughs> that guy, Big Al, he said they were on the run. Some people are after them. Well, you don't have to worry about that no more. They'll go tomorrow and you can stay here. Huh? Absolutely. Honey, you stay with us as long as you want. She's staying for good. If that's what she wants. Thank you. Of course. This is like a dream. Damn it, I am so happy right now. I, I can't even tell you. Where's Matthew? Hey there. Hey. Hope you like the food. Oh, it's it's great. Thank you. Peaches and beans. Great for nutrition. Not too great on the way out, though, I tell you. <laughs> Kenny, that's all man jokes. So it's Luke and Nick. Luke and Nick. You guys sure do look like a match. What's that supposed to mean? I'm just saying you look like good friends, that's all. So, what was your plan here? Hold out for the winter? Actually, we were thinking of moving on. Somewhere up north. Wellington? Ever heard of a place called Wellington? Wellington? The hell is that? A place. What kind of place? Yeah, it's in the north. It's supposed to be a big camp up near Michigan. Michigan? You got a hearing problem, kid? Yeah, Michigan. Think about it. Fresh water, lots of land cold ass winter so the walkers get slow sounds like bullshit listen vanilla ice i don't know what your <laughs> deal is but you're more than welcome to take off in the morning that'd be just fine by me what's the deal with these guys clown hey fuck you buddy it's fine nick we're not staying she's staying please don't fight gentlemen please there's no need for this now look we've all had a long day please eat Fair enough. Pass me that can, duck. Yeah. <gasps> duck? Who's Duck? Duck was his son. Hey, Clementine, would you uh, lend me a hand outside for a moment? Yeah, poor Kenny. I mean, he lost everything. Now he's trying to uh, bring sorry them back. About that. You know, I used to be a teacher. And I remember what it's like to be caught in the middle of two cliques. I suspect they'll find common ground soon enough. 
It may take a little time, but that's just how these things work. Everything will be fine. Listen, relationships are like any machine. You don't throw them out when they break down. You get your hands dirty and you grease the wheels. I want to stay with you and Kenny. Then stay you shall. I know that'll please Kenny. I missed him. And he missed you, I can assure you. They say the world is over, but I'll tell you a secret. It's not. People are more political now than they ever were before. In the end, we can't change the world. All we can do is continue to learn from each other, to empathize and use our heads. All war is a symptom of man's failure as a thinking animal. Steinbeck. Have you read him? <laughs> well, no. we have plenty of time to catch you up on your reading. My partner Matthew is amassing quite the literature collection. I think you'll like him. Uh... In any case, the point is, as long as we have our wits about us, we can always make the right choice. Right? It's never that easy. What's the matter, Clementine? Is there something you want to tell me? You can talk to me, Clem. There's almost nothing you can tell me that will surprise me. I can promise you that. I'm just worried about the people chasing us. You're safe now. Don't worry. Matthew will be back soon. And everything will be fine. Hey, kids. What are you two talking about? Oh, politics. The hell? Well, being from Florida, I would imagine you know all about politics, Kenny. Man, I know one advantage of living in the apocalypse is not dealing with that shit no more. I was just gonna <laughs> check the windows I around agree. back before this storm hits. Give us a hand? Sure. Miss?